Thanks for tuning in today for another new and exciting episode from Stock Car Facts, which we try to post every Tuesday at about noon. Or you can watch some of our previous episodes. Here at Stock Car Facts, we would really love to recreate the race day sights, smells, and sounds that we first experienced for ourselves in 1974 at Michigan International Speedway. But unfortunately, we know that's not possible here. However, we can do the next best thing in that we can share with you what happened at these events and we can talk to those people who created those memories. Or, well, you know, those facts. So we'd appreciate it if you sit back and relax and enjoy this latest episode today of Stock Car Facts with me, your host, Kevin Schwarzen. Oh, and by the way, later, you'll have a chance to comment on this content. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button as well as the follow bell to be notified of brand new shows right here. And we'd appreciate it if you'd share this on all of your social media platforms. Thank you. Today on Stock Car Facts, On the other end of the, oh, by the, way, the, the shop here, getting these chance. coats. You need to look at this one too, what it says on the uniform. So you fans better. Now, what in the world would that be? Buddy had like to wear a that back brace. Back. 
Is that mm-hmm. when he wrecked the mm-hmm. Pocono? Yeah, he had to wear that. That's it. The rest of his life. From 80, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that, that was a bad yeah, it was. wreck. He wore that. Oh, there's, what, one of Joey's, what, Joey, 10 yeah, starts? Joey had about five <laughs> or six starts, yes. Now, these these are the ones I remember you yes, guys in. Yes, those, I, we got this one those. made back in 83. Had affordable used car rental on the back. Yes. And um, this is one of my first crew uniforms I remember wearing at Daytona in 81. Oh, your name was Jimmy. Just yeah, kidding. I was. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we had these in 80 and 82. There's a Henwood video again. Uh, and they basically paid for the cost they of that. Bet, yeah. They did, basically, yeah. And uh, these patches, I, I asked all of our, uh, all the sponsors and so forth to send us patches, and we had them, we had them done up. Mm. And, of course, we had to have the pennant star on here for all the Mopar people. Oh, that so, stood out. And it was even on the car uh, a couple spots, mm-hmm. wasn't it? So, I remember if I'm not mistaken, Wrangler even gave us the shirts. Because <laughs> they were a sponsor at the time. Oh, wow. Now, this is quite the collection. And Bob and I were just talking about, I remember he came running up to me before the start of the 85 race, at, uh, August race at Michigan, and said, I need a good headshot, a buddy. And I took it, mm-hmm. and that's the shot everybody sees on the, yeah. sorry, a little self-promotion. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, I need a shot, a, a, a real good headshot. And I got it, and it's still, what, 40 years later, we yeah. still see it. Pretty much everywhere. We've seen it in cards. We've seen it in the plaques. If you folks order the plaque from Bob, which you should, uh, you know, you uh, that's the one that, that, you know, appears. Oh, wow. And here's going to be a neat shot that I'm going to look at here that I never knew. And Buddy in the Ford here at Ontario, I'd never, I'd never known that. So that's kind of a neat deal. I don't want to stay too long on that and have anybody start screenshotting that and you know buddy at the 82 banquet i've never seen that picture before but that's really neat because yeah. like you say you should have finished fifth that year yeah and uh what yeah what happened at the end of 87 uh, was just it? some bad luck near the end uh, <laughs> not that <laughs> i remember thanks. or forget or anything like that <laughs> i'm not bitter <laughs> only been only been 41 years not bitter at all <laughs> oh that's a neat old ford there from the dirt tracks of Virginia. Mountain moonshine, oh boy. <laughs> no, there's no moonshine going on around here, no, never. Some neat photo albums here. Oh, wow. Those programs, those are pretty cool. You got an old Impala here. Impala, sorry folks. <laughs> Imperial. PT Cruiser here, and I'm loving that Imperial back there. I'm going to look at that thing. That's a car. Rather, sorry, Plymouth. That was an Imperial. Shows how much I know, folks. With the 1960 Virginia license plate on it, and obviously Joey still shows it. Mm-mm-mm. Plymouth Fury which ran in cut for a while. There's a beautiful charger. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, so this looks like it's a work in progress. Looks like they'll be doing what they got to do soon. And the last of the cars we're going to show is this Mercury Cyclone. And the wheel comes off. (laughs) wonder if this is going to become something. Neat mural on the side there. Oh, they're working on the interior here. So, well, folks, that's the the tour of the beginning parts of Joey's uh, new project. So, again, thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like and subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. We'd appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.
As always, special thanks to a true racer and friend of this page, Mark Wright. As well, we haven't given enough props to Brian Norton, who has gone above and beyond to make Stock Car Facts a definite better channel.